Hey man, say man. You don't want to play, man. Welcome to the bigger play where the rubber meets the road and we get straight to it. Yeah, we get straight to it. Y'all ready to get to it? Booyah. I think they ready to get to it. Is we ready? Is we ready? Or is we like Freddy? I think we are ready. Yeah, man. So, the discussion for today is dating down. Oh, let's talk about it. Everybody be yapping and talking, right? Dating down. Let's go. Any relationship is never going to be a perfect situation to where we equally yoke. Or is it? It's a question. Most likely, we not equally yoke, right? Say we, you date me. I'm making money. You ain't making as much money as, as me. We ain't equal. Do that mean I'm dating down? Yeah. 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 We live in a society where hypergamy is where the women want to date up. So that automatically mean the men dating down. <laughs> we just having a conversation. Let's talk about dating down. Do women date down? Mm. If she has a level of integrity that is non-existent, if she is doesn't have a certain level of self-esteem, then it's a possibility she may date down. But when we talk about the real, the real deal, most of the time it's the men that's dating down. Don't matter that. She, she may be of a certain, she may make a hundred thousand. She don't want to date the guy that's making 40. Let's just be realistic. She focused on the guy that's making 200. Even though he may be a cheater, he may be promiscuous, he may be a, a abuser, whatever he may be, because she looking at him as status and he make more money than her she'll sacrifice that dude that's making 40 that's gonna be faithful but his money she'll she'll go on here with buddy you hear me this is we trying to have a real conversation we talking about ain't nobody equally yoked exactly so at that particular time that means somebody is dating up and somebody is dating down. What make you equally yoked to the person? Is it family? If you got a two-parent household, you making 50000 I got. I was born with just my father or my mama raising me. I'm making 300000 Is you dating up? Is I'm dating down? Is I'm dating down? Is you dating down? Is you, I'm dating? Come on. Let's have a conversation. Dating down, let's talk about it. Most of the time in real relationships, the men date down. That's a fact. Because the man look at the value of a woman different than the woman look at the value of the man. And it's sad. Because we putting it out to the world and now, you know, a lot of men get ostracized because we speaking out way more than we used to. At one point, you had Ricky Lake, you had Sally Jesse Raphael, you had Oprah Winfrey. What them guys' names up in there? You had Montel with a ball here. He was, huh? I mean, let's be serious. Montel, Arsenio, Phil Donahue. Mm. You ain't had that caliber of men that come from being shot, being through a struggle, having a certain level of adversity. No, you got to add that in there. You ain't had it. You ain't had that caliber of man speaking. You had these real for the woman, you hear me, feminine. It wasn't masculine. You know, face clean, shaven, no beards. Like, what? <laughs> We've been growing half for years. No beards, your whole face clean, your mouth. Where I come from, we, we call that something in particular. I'm just... It's a certain type of face where a man just shave everything. My boy shave your goddamn eyebrow. 
So you, your ass, you shave everything? Mm. And y'all want to look at me like I'm... These the guys that was talking on TV. Pull up the videos. Okay, all right. Anyway, you had so many advocating, but now you got the men speaking out, talking, and people don't want to accept it because it's an energy shift. It's a change. Men date down. Yeah, do you know what dating down means? What's your definition of dating down? Explain to me what dating down is. If I make three hundred thousand and you make two hundred, <clears throat> am I dating down? If I make a hundred and you make thirty, if I make seventy, you ain't making nothing. Are we dating? Is it a date down? I'm just asking because th these topics is going around. They going around. You understand? So you get with somebody and you trying to focus on them, and you you come in with me and you. I'm paying the bills. I'm paying your car note. I'm paying your insurance. I'm paying the kids' insurance. We got a kid, maybe two. I'm paying their insurance. I'm paying for everything. How is we on the equal yoke program if you're able to do whatever you want to do by way of me paying for it and you ain't contributing to the household, I'm making sure we got a maid to clean up because I don't want to see my lady do too much cleaning up. I, I'm uh, ordering us and getting chefs because I don't want to see my lady with no food. I'm just painting a picture of where people really going, you know, in the reality. Because if I'm not a dirty man, if you're not a dirty woman, I'm going to clean up, you're going to clean up. I'm going to make sure I take us out to eat, you're going to cook. We, we eat, it's, that's a balance right there. Okay, but I'm adding a level of provision when I'm providing everything. So how I'm supposed to know where you got my back at if I'm paying, making sure everything cool, everything paid for? Because the goal is to go up, and I get myself to a level where I'm all the way up. How I'm supposed to know if you got my back? How we equally yoked if I don't know if you got my back? So who dating down and who dating up? Men of high value... Date down. All women, well, I ain't going to say all because you're talking about different classes of women. A certain type of class of woman going to date up. Most of them not going to date down. Most men going to date down. And ain't nothing wrong with it because it's the way of the world. But it's a reality that a lot of people don't talk about. And men get shunned on because we don't get that... We don't get a certain level of credit. We don't get we don't get a certain level of appreciation. There's certain levels of things that, that happen that men don't get. And that's the reality of it. Dating down is a real, real, real thing. You dating somebody that ain't on, ain't on your level is basically what dating down is. But because men have so much I can't speak for all men. I'm not talking about the disrespectful men. I'm talking about real men. Have so much respect to the woman. He will be there for his seed. He will do the best he can for his seed. He will be there for his woman. He'll be supportive. He'll be all of that. When that same thing ain't being reciprocated, he'll still be that. And we'll know at that point, is, they, is you got to... Is you got a certain level. A man will be in a relationship with a woman. Well, there's a certain level of friction there because whatever reason, but he's not quick to lead that relationship, not quick to sign that divorce paperwork, not quick to walk away from that woman, not quick to go into the, you know what, irreconcilable differences. I just don't got no reason. I just don't want to be here no more. Men don't just jump into that. Not for real. If you look at the statistics and the facts and the data, it support. Mm, I'm going to work it out. But when you go on the other side, you know what? I ain't really feeling him no more. I don't like him like that. I'm out. And you're really going to destroy your family. 
You really gonna come with this attitude. You really gonna come with this energy and just look down on a family and destroy a family. A lot of people be doing a lot of cap. They don't be keeping it real. But over here at the bigger play, what we gonna do is we not perfect, but we gonna make attempts to keep it all the way 100. And up until this point, very, very, very significant, good job and a level of consistency that exists. So we need to make sure that people accredit men for dating down and not treating a woman as such. Just because a man cheat don't mean he don't love you, but I'm going to leave that alone. I'm a, That's a conversation for another topic. But that man is stepping up to the plate to be a provider, to be a protector, to have some sort of provision. Even in the, the society today, where he may be fortunate to take care of everything. Some of us is less fortunate. So we try to go out and find somebody to work with, and we try to implement who we are, our character, and our integrity to this individual so they can look at us and say, damn, you know, I really, I really like Buddy. I really lock in with Buddy. But because the world will teach you different, people don't want to lock in because it's money might be funny. And because of other shallow, superficial things. But the reality is if, if his provision and, and his integrity and his character is intact, regardless of what, you supposed to always tap in with that man. Because you know you his... Not his first and only, but you his most important priority before y'all even go to the next level. So what do you think about dating down? That's the question. Who really dates down? Women don't really date down. If she don't have a lot of self-esteem, she has no integrity, and she might. But we live in a high pergamy society. That's why a lot of Younger women like older men. Why? They feel he more balanced, even though he may not be as far as infidelity goes, but as far as having a crib, having some decent credit, having a foundation, he might have his operation in order. So you're going to deal with that older guy with more direction that could teach you because you want to look up and say, all right, I can follow this man. He'll lead him. Dating down. All right.